hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel i'm mankesh and in this video we are covering one of the very important topic about unix it's a files and directory permissions how we will change it and this is what the command ch mode command which is very important command in production as well so there are multiple ways to change permissions in uh, for files and directories in unix so first type is a relative permission absolute permissions and recursive so we will see it practically how it's working so first we will focus on relative one okay it's only the way you will type the syntax in different way only in absolute there is a number and in uh, relative we have some characters so references uh, let me take the screenshot because we are going to cover the recursive permissions so this is what uh, i have created ch mode uh, we will cover these four topics first we are covering this relative permission so we must be aware of these all options uh, Okay, it's very small so let me note down over here so u means user okay g means group uh, o means other a means all and assign permissions to user then group then only for other or a for all these three okay so um, we'll see it. This is very important. U, G, O, and A. Uh, I can show you in the terminal also where we can see the user's permissions. LS minus LRT. Uh, this first three, uh, first is a, this is what the uh, file type. This is a directory and this is a file. But after the first three permissions, these are the user permissions. Let me highlight it properly. Later, uh, these are the group permissions. This is for other and this is for all user group and all. So how we will change it that we will see. Uh, let me show you one more thing. Uh, this is what the plus sign. Okay, so plus sign symbol we will use to assign the permission. And uh, minus symbol we can use to remove the permission. Okay, and which permissions we can give and remove? We have only three permissions. So let me add those permissions here. R for read, W for write, and X for execute. Execute. Dash for, dash for no, no permission here. Okay. So now uh, let me do it uh, perform practically uh, this is relative permissions uh, uh, that chapter we are uh, this is what the topic we are covering in this video okay so i can say uh, i have one file and that file name is 1234.txt here i need to give permissions to everyone and i want to allow only read write permissions to everyone I can see read is available already, but read write permissions I need to allow for everyone. Okay, so if it means you need to assign read and write permissions to all. So this is Sigwin. That's the reason it looks like everything in a black and white combination. So ch mode command we can use. Then uh, you want to allow permissions to everyone. So I will use a. And which permissions I need to allow? Rw, read and write. And which file is this? 1234.txt. I have mentioned wrong. Okay. See, uh, guys, uh, this permission it will get updated with this. RW dash, RW dash, RW dash. It means what you have assigned permissions to. Okay. I don't want to give any permissions to anyone. That means I want to remove all the permissions. So you can use ch mode a minus rwx x is already not there but it will get removed so one two three four from ls minus rt you can see the permissions are already removed okay so the same way uh, you can do the practice on your ubuntu terminal as well uh, i have my ubuntu terminal here now i'm planning to remove the permission for this directory ch mode a dash rwx a means all dash it's not dash it's a minus sign uh, rwx means i need to remove all the permissions for which directory xyz directory now see ls minus lrt nobody has any permission 
and if nobody has any permission so i won't be able to use this also i'm not able to enter in that directory because i don't have permission i am the owner of that file but again owner doesn't have any permissions no? so at least allow read write execute permissions to owner so owner to align assign permissions to owner then i will use ch mode uh, owner i will use u plus a uh, sorry rwx and that file directory name is this now see uh, user got all the permissions but still other doesn't have anything and user has all those permissions so that person can easily go in that directory see okay. and while doing practice if you want to assign all permis permissions to everyone then that is your logic right chmo uh, 777 star so it will uh, uh, I'll assign these permissions to all files and folder okay and now i don't want to assign permissions to everyone so that is your logic you can apply for all also only for text files if you want to assign then ch mode uh 777 now what is this 777 that i'm going to cover in our absolute permission so or we can use a minus rwx simply a plus rwx 777 no sorry not 777 star.txt so it means what all text file will get that this permission all permissions okay um it's very pretty simple uh, you can assign permissions to these options user group or over other and a for all plus signs you can use to assign the permissions minus signs you can use to remove the permission then uh, these permissions you can assign okay uh, here i have just written this is what a no permission but no permission means dash you can see but these permissions you can assign with the help of this and for these options and ch mode command will come in the picture to assign or remove permission for the files and directory uh, here we have done with the relative one but in absolute you have another way to type the syntax so that syntax we will cover so if we move to the next uh, here i have uh, written down some syntax in my notes also okay so absolute permissions in absolute permission uh, we need these numbers four two one these are the default number assigned to all the permissions so let me write down all those numbers here it's very simple uh, compared to relative so number four they have assigned for read number two they have assigned for write number one they have assigned for execute number zero it means no permission okay and uh, suppose i want to assign all permissions to everyone then my syntax would be ch mode seven first seven is a uh, users owners permission second seven group permissions others plus one and here i can give the file name file.txt or directory whatever it is so this is very important this is your user means owner's permissions this is your group permissions and this is your uh, others apart from group and owner they have these permissions so it's only numbers now wh why triple seven triple seven means all permissions please do the total of this four plus two plus one is equal to seven so seven means all permissions so i have given one uh, table here you can see zero it means no permissions you can see like this in the output uh, then we have execute permissions execute permissions look like this dash dash x so number one assigned to execute permissions now number two write permission so write permission you can see like this dash w dash uh, number three it's a execute and write do the total of one plus two is equal to three it means write and execute permissions you can assign with the help of this number number four it is a read permission see r dash dash only read permissions you can assign number five it's a total of four and one this four means read this one means execute so number five is a combination of read and execute that you can assign in the output you can see like this then number six it's a combination of read and write four plus two is equal to six and number seven it is for all permissions okay so now let's try with this numerical logic for all permissions so 
3h mode uh, i want to give 0 0 0 for uh, backup dot cal so look at that file it came here it doesn't have any because what you have done triple zero no permissions to user no permissions to group and no permission permission to others if i want to assign ch mode seven uh, for others i can assign five 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 means what read and execute only and my file name is new file dot no it's a backup actually backup now see the permissions here that permission is uh, seven means this this seven uh, five means read and execute and five means read and execute you have successfully assigned so guys try similar practice on your uh, laptop uh, if you have a ubuntu app or sigwin app it's very important and i have given some syntax and some example also we will see what is a recursive permissions so guys recurs recursive permissions means what under one directory if you have 100 files so and for that 100 files i want to assign uh, read uh, or all permissions to all 100 files along with that directory also uh, let's tell you i'll tell you one example practically over here uh, let me see i have xyz in this directory and under that directory i have a number of files actually right now i'm here ls minus lrt home under that i have xyz.txt so i can see there are multiple files are here i want to assign all permissions to everyone including this directory also and uh, this directory as well so re recursive permissions will help you out here because you can see recursive uh, what will do ch more hyphen capital r and i want to assign triple seven for this directory so triple seven will come here also and whatever files and directories available under this directory for those directories also it will assign automatically so let me hit enter and see the output ls minus lrt so see triple seven already updated here also go to xyz and see the permission of the files and directory here also it is updated successfully 777 so recursive means what it will apply to that directory also and files and directory present in that directory also it will automatically apply and one of the last and important topic is we have done with the recursive one but last option is default permissions whenever you are going to create any files and directories in unix what is your default permissions okay uh, ls minus lrt now i am creating one file here file name is okay through touch i am going to create it touch file name i have created 567.txt now ls minus lrt so it is coming uh, 4 uh, plus 2 is equal to 6 6 4 4 so 6 4 4 how it is coming let me go mkdir and uh, ramesh names directory i have created ls minus lrt so how come by default uh, this permission is coming for directory 7 5 5 that we will see in this video this is very important what is the default permission for the files and directory okay uh, here i have given some syntax uh, i'll come to the later uh, we will work on the default permissions so please make a note of it that for files for files default permission is triple six and for directory for directory it is triple seven and suppose um, this is what the actual permission for the file from these your umas value will get less now what is the umas value of your computer that you need to check first okay so go here you must by default it's a double zero double two which means uh, this first zero it's come with the symbolic one but i'll take the next three zero two two 
this value will get less from your the main permissions 0 to 2 and then by default you are getting as a 6 4 4 4 files this value will get less from your main file so what is a u mask this is also one of the important question okay uh, but this value will get less that's the reason uh, for files it is coming 6 4 4 and for directory it is coming 7 5 5 because if you'll see by default uh, permission for directory is a triple seven and from that you must value will get less and you, you must value of your computer is triple two zero two two so you are getting this for okay now let me set this you must value as a double zero double zero you must you can see you must value it's a by default mostly zero to two will be available over there but now i am setting zero 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 okay now see my you must value it's a zero 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 and now i am creating file touch um nine zero nine dot txt and mktir uh, 1010 to see default permission is coming automatically 777666 why because your umas value is 0 previously it was 2222 now i am again setting my umas value as a 022 like this so if someone is asking you what is a umas then this is what the definition umas is a default value set by unix administrator okay which is a system variable default in my computer also default was 022 but administrator administrator can change this value also so whenever you are going to create any kind of files or directory in unix this umas value will get less and the main uh, from your main permission value and uh, later you will get that 644 or 755 so this is what the umas value this is what the main permission value and after that you are getting is this so umas is a default permission value set by unix administrator by default mostly we have seen it is a 0022 and it will get less when are you going to create any directories on files in unix so please focus on this uh, this is one of the important topic guys ch mode and uh, try similar practice see what is a umas try the same and from the next video we will start continuing with this some basic commands thanks for watching this video see you soon